Hey guys, it's Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing another Christmas clean and decorate with me, but this one is playroom style. Uh, so I'm doing a big toy rotation involving a huge wipe down of everything, actually really deep cleaning in here, moving around furniture and rotating out my normal uh, toy rotation and then also decorating for Christmas in here a little bit. So I'm really excited to bring you guys along. It was so fun to have the kids participate in decorating and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. It does really help support my channel. And if you're not already, I'd love for you to subscribe and join. Um, we're going to be doing so many Christmas clean and decorate with me videos. I feel like I haven't even like started. <laughs> um, I did my tree, which is kind of the biggest part, but we have not done the kitchen yet or uh, tons of other spaces. So definitely stay tuned. I'm kind of doing it in a totally random order, uh, but it is slowly coming along. Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree So let us have a swinging Christmas Just like one, two, three So I really needed to wipe out this toy shelf. This is actually from Ikea and it's where I do my main toy rotation. So obviously we have different parts of the playroom with the kitchen and the nugget couch. Uh, but this is the main place where we uh, display our toys. So it's not really a toy storage. It's more like a toy display and then they can reach and get things off the shelf that they wanna play with. Uh, so I was doing toy rotations like once a week. As my kids are getting older, they're at a really good point right now where they are doing more independent play and like actually focusing on a certain toy or task for longer periods of time, which is really awesome. So I'm trying to push back the toy rotation and do it maybe like every two to three weeks. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, but I did wanna do obviously like a major rotation here where I moved everything around and it's just a big refresh fresh and that involved lots of cleaning that I just have not been doing so um, I used the kids little broom to um, get all these little pieces um, off the ground they were both napping at the time so I didn't want to vacuum or do anything loud so I just used their little broom and made a couple of piles to vacuum later which I will be doing later in this video but I just gave everything a really good wipe down and cleaned it all up, um, which it really needed. So I recommend doing that for your own playroom. Hopefully this can be some cleaning motivation for you and you can start cleaning and decorating along with me.
So this was our toy rotation for the time being. They love uh, the little vehicles and um, random puzzles and things. So right now the magnet tiles are a big one. Um, that was a toy that Asher really loved when he was around like, I don't know, 18 months or so. And then he kind of wasn't going for them for a while, but I think we just needed to take them aside. That's why I do toy rotation. I pulled them out. He didn't see them for a little, and now he's at an age where he's really into playing with them and he can do it by himself really well. And he likes to show us all the different things he creates. So they are back in rotation right now and probably will stay for a good long while. And I just rotate in and out the other cubes. So. I have different systems and you just kind of have to figure out what works best for your kid. Every kid is different, but you can check out, you know, different videos that can help you with toy rotation or blogs or whatever you like to do for, uh, I guess like research. Um, but this kitchen really needed a wipe down. River loves to take her little sticky fingers and open, uh, these cabinets and stuff. So gave it a good wipe down and made sure everything was nice and clean before starting anything else. And I'm really excited to show you how the kids reacted and then how we decorated a little Christmas tree together. Put it right there. What do you think? I got that game. It's a new toy rotation. New toy rotation. What do you think? My dad laughed. <laughs> decorate for Christmas in here. Oh. You want to? I told you that. Now, since the kids were awake, I was able to vacuum this room finally. So I gave it a really good vacuum on the rug and the floor. I took the rug out and mopped everything, which you'll see. But this is actually a new vacuum we just bought recently. We have been trying to find a good cordless vacuum that actually does really well at picking things up, especially on the rugs or the carpet upstairs, and just haven't really found a good one. Um, we even tried like the uh, Dyson, I don't know, whatever it was, and it just didn't work great. So we got this shark one that has a cord and I was like, that's fine, I don't care. And it picked everything up really well. And then I went in with this little vacuum mop thing, uh, which I've used in a lot of my cleaning videos, so you'll continue to see it. And it does make mopping very convenient, but it does have a couple setbacks. Um, I don't think the vacuuming part works like super well. And then you have to clean out the water basically every single time you use it, even for a quick clean, because it just gets really nasty. So um, let that dry and then put out our rug again. And it felt so nice and clean here um, I definitely motivated myself to start doing this more often because it feels so good when it's clean in here and it's just obviously healthy for your kids to keep a nice clean space
Yes. You're gonna bring the whole box? Yeah. Okay, River, can you carry this or is it too heavy? Yeah. Can you carry that? Yeah. Okay, carry it to the tree. Can you carry it? Yeah. Wow. It's a little heavy. All right. This one we can use. This one we can use. It's a little reindeer. Oh, look at this truck. And rivers a dog, like Hazel. We can use these. Oh. And this, this one. This is Asher. This is Asher. This is Asher, Mom. Oh, wow, baby. That's what it's called. That's good. ornament you hung and it's a baby asher i'm in your dog i'm in your dog a dog you can go here yep do you need help i got put it put it on the branch not just the light okay i got papa okay do you want to put these on the tree do you like these no not yet not yet i'll put by these Okay, sometimes we do this first, and then the other ones. Oh, good. Put it there. Yeah. 
branch. You're not, you don't put it on a light. You can put it on this branch. There. Push, push, push. There. Perfect. Look at the other one. Look. Um, it's already on the tree. Oh no, it's on the ground. See it? Yeah. Put it here. Hello. And the deer has to hang the deer. Okay guys, this is how the little Christmas tree turned out. I really wanted to just let Asher kind of pick where things go, but I did try to direct him um, on how to spread things out a bit. Uh, but I think the little fuzzy ball garland and the big white snowflakes, which are both from Hobby Lobby, um, I think that that helped just make the tree a little bit more cohesive, which is nice. These other ornaments are so random, but thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely make sure to subscribe if you have not, and I will see you next time. Bye.